true or false? The best way to fight temptation is just say no. If you said true, how's that working for you? Are you standing against temptation? Or are you falling down more often than you'd like to admit? When we say no to temptation, we are making a rule or law that gives sin a foothold in our lives. And that's why we're falling down. Here's how that works. In society, we make laws to keep life safe and orderly. We tell drivers to not speed. We tell our children to not run in the house. And we expect our rules to be obeyed. But God's law is different. Romans 5.20 tells us the law came in so sin would increase. God gave His law knowing it would not curb our behavior. In fact, we'd sin even more. 1 Corinthians 15.56 tells us that sin gets its power from the law. Wherever you have a law, sin will get power from that law. Romans 7.8 explains that sin uses the law to stir up even more sin in our lives. Have you ever been on a diet and been tempted to eat a cookie? You make a law for yourself saying, no, I'm not going to eat that cookie. The power of sin comes along and uses your no to stir up a yes, and you eat half the bag. That's how sin works. If we want to resist the sinful temptations that come against us, we mustn't make the mistake of saying no to temptation. Our human willpower might hold out for a while, but we'll likely fall in the end. We've got to find a better way to fight temptation. And there is one available by saying yes to Jesus. We need to understand why we're tempted to sin. Sin can be defined as meeting a legitimate need in an illegitimate way. Or we can define it the same way Jesus did in John chapter 7, verses 38 and 39, as a thirst. There Jesus cried out, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. The scope of his invitation is stunning. It's available to anyone. It doesn't matter who they are, where they've been, what they've done, how many times they've done it, or who they've done it with. Anyone, anytime, anywhere can come to Him and have their thirst satisfied by Him. Even more stunning, Jesus didn't say which thirsts were acceptable and which weren't. He invites all thirsts. If we thirst for righteousness, He'll satisfy that. And if we thirst for something that isn't righteous, like fame or money, he promises to satisfy those too. But what if we thirst for something unrighteous or sinful? Jesus made no distinctions in his offer. He stands ready to satisfy any thirst. How can we explain that? It's really very simple. When we thirst for something, we're really thirsting for him. We just don't recognize that. When we thirst for fame, we're really thirsting for significance which Jesus can certainly provide. He makes us children of God, and there's no greater significance than that. When we thirst for money, we're really thirsting for security, which Jesus offers abundantly through His everlasting love, grace, and mercy. But what about when we thirst for something sinful, like lust? We're really thirsting for intimacy, love, excitement, and pleasure all of which our Lord offers us through an intimate relationship with Him. Our Lord promises to satisfy any thirst we have, and He doesn't just fill our cup. He fills us full to overflowing with rivers of His living water flowing from His Holy Spirit who lives within us. This is what He offered to the woman at the well in John chapter 4. This dear lady sought meaning and purpose through various men in her life. Her choices left her lonely and unfulfilled, burdened with guilt and shame. If she would only ask Him, Jesus promised to put a bubbling spring of His living water inside her, and she'd never thirst in that way again. This is how to stand against every temptation we face. A temptation is simply a thirst. Saying no to our thirst will only make us more thirsty. 
we'll be miserable and unfulfilled, just like the woman at the well. And if we continue to say no, our thirst will grow more desperate until we finally choose to satisfy that thirst illegitimately and fall into sin. Don't say no to temptation. And don't ever deny you're thirsty. Instead, bring your thirst to Jesus, the one who promised to meet all your needs according to his riches. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. God promised a way out of every temptation we face. And the way he promised is the provision of his own son, Christ in us, our confidence of glory.